this bead paint's pretty old. I mean, I could tell just by looking at my computer just in the background that this is older than I thought it was. Uh, because I didn't want to put music over it, and I didn't know what to talk about until now. I just admit that, yeah. Anyway, my last video was a joke video. Uh, most people did realize that, but some people didn't. So I just want to apologize for scarring you for life for thinking that that video was real. Anyway, so today I'll be talking about ponified characters. You probably already knew that because of the title. But anyway, on to the topic. <laughs> there are two types of people in the world. People that really like ponified characters. People that uh, like to see their favorite characters from another fandom into this fandom. And people that are totally opposite. They just hate ponified characters. They want them to burn and die. No matter how good the art is, no matter who did it, they just hate it. Now, I have done ponified characters myself, so I don't want to sound like a hypocrite or anything. And I also might get a little fired up. Uh, I'm sorry, I get fired up for most things these days. <laughs> but there, there's a difference between doing, like, ponifying a character and ponifying a character and claiming it as your own. Yes, people actually do this. Um, people would just ponify a character, and sometimes they don't even change anything, not even the personality, they don't even change anything as little as an eye color, and claim it as their own. Even if they credit the original owner, like, once, that doesn't mean that you have the right to this character. No matter if you, no matter how many things you change, if it's still recognizable, and, and especially if it still has the same personality, that does not mean that you have the right to this character. <laughs> and I have seen this, especially with Melanie Martinez, Chat Noir from Miraculous Ladybug, um, and Harley Quinn, especially Harley Quinn. <laughs> and I'm not talking about those little, like, cosplay ponies. Um, I see a lot of people dress up their roses as Ladybug. But that does, I'm not talking about that. They're not claiming it as their own or anything. I'm talking about they would literally take the character, quantify it, not even change anything about it, and claim it as their own, and they don't get any attention for it. I mean, they do get attention for it, but not any negative attention. And I'm not saying they deserve this negative attention, I'm just saying that you should not do this. This is technically copyright, and I'm not saying to get all involved in the legal stuff, but if you don't even change anything about the character, not even the personality, that does not mean it's yours. Now, for example, let's say someone drew quote-unquote Chat Noir, and maybe they, like, change his eye color or something. That does not mean that this character is yours, just because you changed one thing about it. Now, <laughs> I may be exaggerating a little bit, some people actually change a little bit more than just that, but even if it's still recognizable, that does not mean that you have the right to this character. I saw someone make a OC that was literally Chat Noir, uh, just without his black suit. Like, he even had the mask, he had the black ears, he even had, like, paws for hooves, and he had the blonde hair and the green eyes, but they still said, this is my original OC. <laughs> now, there are people who ponify characters and draw them occasionally, like, with their own character. I'm not talking about that. Um, I'm talking about people that, like, change their name and literally think that this character is theirs. Now, if you still don't understand, say I ponified um, Adam from Attack on Titan. And instead of me, like, crediting or anything, I would, like, claim him as my own character. This is my character. I... Oh, it's based off an anime character. But no, this is my character. And if someone else draws him, ugh, uh, I will report this person because they copied me. Yes, I've actually seen this before. People get angry over people making other ponify versions of the character that they ponified, if that makes any sense. Basically, for example, if someone else ponified Chat Noir, that means that that person goes ballistic. They're like, oh my gosh, you copied my original character. And I'm not really exaggerating that much. People actually do this. And no, I do not support this. Um, why? And I've seen people do as much as making this Ponified OC their mascot, like their main OC. Now, this is just a little bit annoying. Now, again, if they're just like making the character and drawing the character with your OCs or something, but still you don't claim that character as your own, 
that's fine. But saying, this is my original character, it's based off whatever. No, it's not based off. It is literally this character. And I've seen this especially with Harley Quinn. Like, it looked exactly like Harley Quinn, mainly the Suicide Squad version and the video game version. But no matter what version it is, it's still her! <laughs> um, they still have her twisted personality, and they even give her, like, cutie marks that match her personality. And they say it's based off Harley Quinn. <laughs> no, it's not based off her. It's literally her. You're just copying it and not even crediting the original creator. Another point, I've probably repeated myself over and over and over. I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm really, this gets me very fired up. Anyways, so, uh, there is a difference between taking this character based off of, or whatever, and basically making it the exact same thing and saying I was inspired by that original character, then actually being inspired and making, like, a themed pony or a based off pony, um, if you don't know what I mean, like, say you get Harley Quinn or something, and you make an OC that maybe has, like, a ponytail with the dyed hair or something, and she maybe has, like, a little bit of a twisted personality, but not, like, so twisted that you're like, oh my gosh, this is Harley Quinn. That is being inspired or making a based-off OC. Another example is, like, making a cat pony for Chat Noir or something, but not stealing his entire color palette and everything. Basically, don't claim ponified characters as your own, no matter if it's from a TV show or somebody else's original character even, which is probably even worse because you're probably getting in a lot of trouble. Um, <laughs> don't copy their palette, don't copy their personality, don't copy their design, because that is pretty much just making a ponified character your own character, which it isn't. And anyway, I'm going to stop it at there. Um, I'm sorry if it sounded too harsh. Uh... But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and there will be some more soon. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. See ya.